Welcome back to the Liberty Mutual Coach of the Year Spotlight. Ask any football coach who he'd dream about speaking with one-on-one, -on -one, and you'd expect to hear oh, Vince Lombardi, Knut Rockney, or maybe Bear Bryant. Well, perhaps Mark Richt would like to sit down with all of those legends, but remember, Coach Richt is also an extremely devout man. And a few years ago, he did get a personal audience with someone he'd always wanted to meet more than any coaching legend. How did you come to meet the Reverend Billy Graham? Billy Graham was having a crusade in Tallahassee, right there at Doak Campbell Stadium. And he spoke to the team, and he was just awesome. I mean, the kids fired questions that would just, would have dropped most people, you know. When it was over, I just, I asked him, I said, is there any chance I could just spend a couple moments with you? I can't imagine how busy he was that day. But, uh, but he stopped, he walked with me into a room, we closed the door, and we had a chance to spend 10 or 15 minutes. And I had some things that, uh, I needed to ask him uh, that were private then and private now. Mm -hmm. It basically had a lot to do with sin. He said that uh, we need to, you know, we need to hate the sin but love, the love the sinner, you know. And that message I'll, I'll never forget. As a head coach, how do you balance the competitive nature of what you do with doing the right thing? Well. I'd like to say it's easy. My initial reaction is it's pretty simple. That means doing things right, doing things by the rule. Um, so we spend an awful lot of time and effort to try to make sure we do everything exactly by the book. If we have to cheat or if we have to cut corners or if we have to do something uh, unethical to win, then it's, it's, not worth, it's not worthy of winning. And if we're going to try to help teach these guys to do the right things and if coaches cutting corners and doing things he ought not do, then what, what in the world are we teaching him? So the bottom line is we're going to try to stay the course and do the right thing. And if it's good enough, awesome. If it's not good enough, we'll find something else to do. You've had great success here. If the NFL did come calling, how do you think you would react to that opportunity? No way. No way. No. That this, is, this is home. If it's up to me, I'm not, I'm not leaving. You know? And I said that the day I got here. Uh, I never, ever want to walk into that team meeting room and say, uh, hey, fellas, I, I got a, another place to go. I got a better place to be than with you. A lot of these guys have had too much disappointment as it is. Now, some of them may be glad I'm gone. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I hope and pray it never has to happen. We have a little segment where we have uh, some fun here, Coach, called Four and Outs. So here we go. What's your favorite meal? Oh, man. My wife's manicotti is number one. Uh, number two, Good if I'm going to if I'm gonna eat out, uh, it'll probably be the mean bean. There's a, just a little hole in the wall Mexican place in town here that, for the first three years, no one knew who I was. They didn't care who I was. They didn't even know if the football was uh, pumped or stuffed in there, you know. And it was just a nice place to go and and uh, and have some peace, you know. But they they make a pretty bean mean burrito there too. If you weren't living here, where would you live? It doesn't matter. I mean, really, it's just like when we moved here, we said, we're going to love Athens regardless. We're going we're gonna to love it before we even get there. We're not going to test the water and see if we like it. That's home. I mean, home is where your family is. Home is where your, your relationships are. Who's your favorite athlete all time? Oh, that's tough. You know, growing up, Joe Namath was my man. Joe Namath was my man. I mean, I had a picture in my wallet. When I laid my head down on the pillow, I had a desk right next to it, and when I laid my head on the pillow, Joe Willie was sitting right there, you know? And uh, so that's the last time I really, you know, thought about, you know, idolizing an athlete, but uh, I'll never forget how I felt about Joe. What historical figure do you most identify with? I'd have to go with, with Christ, really. I mean, one human being to change the entire way the world thinks. He not only changed everybody's lives back in his day, but for everyone for eternity, and, and no one else really comes close. Learned a lot, really enjoyed it. Coach. All right. Real pleasure. We've already noted that Mark Rick, the head coach at the University of Georgia, has kind of been under the radar, at least until uh, he won 50 ball games in a handful of years. Mark Rick was a quiet, organized, kempt fellow all the years that he was the offensive coordinator for Bobby Bowden at Florida State. My goodness, when he came away from there, he had Bobby Bowden's fingerprints all over him. He's one of Bobby's boys, 
and he will, as the years go by, go above the radar because he's going to be a good one.